Hi, I'm Steve Everson from Lily Wild Exploration. Um, I'm in one of the barns today um, because we've decided we're going to try and make um, a loom that's portable um, for wilder tapestry weaving for working outside. Um, but it wants to be up on a stand like a sort of an easel um, so that we can engage other people. We've tried it at the Country Files show um, and it worked really well. So we thought we'd um, try and make something a little bit more permanent. Now, needless to say, I'm not um, uh, great at woodwork. Um, I like to sort of get things up and done. And so building's okay, but once you get into fine detail, it's um, not one of my forte. So this should be a bit interesting. Anyway, we've, um, we, you see, we've got really uh, complicated plans. Um, so, you know, hopefully, something should come of this that looks vaguely like an easel uh, otherwise um, it might be a quick whiz down to somewhere like the works to try and find um find one anyway I'll, I'll come back to you in a little bit i've just got to try and measure up some bits of wood and work out what i'm doing um, but i've got a few bits of two by one and uh, one by one and um I've got, I've got a pencil so i can i can mark out what i'm doing so obviously this is going to be a pretty sophisticated piece of work oh here comes the uh, morning toast just to confuse the um uh, the filming um but uh, uh i think i better stop now and eat my toast and then hopefully i can get on with um more important things thank you uh see you and see you in a little while okay so i think um we're starting to get somewhere um this is the frame for the tapestry weaving um, and I've built a very simple structure um, here. We've bolted the top because um, I'm intending in the long term to have it so that the whole thing goes down into single pieces of wood um, so it's all actually going to be bolted but for the moment I'm just tacking it with most of them with, um, with screws um, so that we can do a trial with the frame and make sure that it's all set up right and everything. Um, what we're hoping to do is, assuming I've got all my design right, which is uh, highly unlikely, um, we're going to have leg extensions which can go onto the bottom of um, the frame here. Um, and they will be just have um, holes drilled at even distances on both uh, pieces of wood so that we can attach them by two bolts. Um, hopefully that will mean that we can then take the frame up so it can be used at a height um, for uh, weaving when you're standing up. Anyway, it's all a bit of a work in progress um, and obviously we're just uh, kind of making it up as we go along really. Um, but uh, hopefully it'll start to take shape and I'll show you a little bit more in a little while. Okay folks, so here it is. Um, this is the frame that we've made um, from that scrap of paper. Um, you'll see I've built it so that it can partially come to pieces. Um, because this is the first version, we haven't made the whole thing to come to pieces because we may need to alter it. But in brief, what we've done is made it so it'll carry a frame. Um, as you can see, the frame comes out. Um, we've put these pieces in behind um, the bars just to hold different size pieces. Um, this here runs up and down in a groove. Um, so using the wing nuts, you can alter the distance the two bars are apart and therefore the size of the frame. Um, and then we've put these leg extensions on, which again, um, you can alter the heights, um, but also importantly, you can take them off. So it means that you're not having to carry quite such a, an awkward thing around. Um, if we want to and decide that this is going to work, um, these ones are already bolted, so you can see we can take those out. Um, all we need to do is replace the screws in there and the screws in there with bolts, and then the whole thing can come into pieces, um, which will be able to be carried in a, in a bag. So considering we had that idea last night, um, and I've spent um, probably three hours um, just knocking this up. So not the most beautiful, but it's used lots of scraps of wood, tried not to waste. Um, we had to buy the one by one because we didn't have any of that, but these two by twos um, are all bits and pieces of offcuts and uh, things that we had lying around. Um, so yeah, there you are, um, our mobile tapestry weaving frame, um, which hopefully will work for going out and 
having um, some experiences outdoors with people um, and hopefully be a little bit easier to carry around. If it works and we like it, then as I say, we'll make it so it's completely collapsible and then we'll just make a bag um, that it can be carried in. So, hope you enjoy uh, more on Nearly Wild Weaving um, uh, coming up on the blog. And of course, you can access a lot of the information through Nearly Wild Exploration, www.nearlywild.org. Thanks very much.